simultaneously the best and worst thing to ever happen to me. Hmm. I wouldn't change it for the world, but... Indigo, I don't want to live like this anymore. Well, at least you're not a figment of someone else's imagination. You're really not helping. I'm not trying to. Do you ever wish you could go back in time? Star, going back in time is stupid and you know it. No, not with that. I guess I just miss the way things used to be. It's like I'm in a constant state of enduring nostalgia. You can't stay stuck in the past, Star. I miss my mom taking photos of me. I miss the way she'd tie my hair up before school and the stupid pink dresses she made me wear. I miss how she said my name. That wasn't really your stuff. Can't you just let me have this? Indigo? You know you can't touch me. Indigo, wait up! You can't keep going back here! I don't understand! This is not right, I'm not good for you and you know it. Indigo! That's not my name. Indigo. I miss the comfort of sitting in your skin, though it made me itch, though it never felt quite right. It was nice to play a simple part, when I could smile at girl and take pride in young women, where I could exist in security, knowing everyone perceived me as who I thought I was, where I could take in my reflection and see myself and know it was right. But I'm not you, and I don't believe I ever was. I wish someone had told me that growth can also mean loss that it can hurt. I can still feel parts of you in the corners of my mind, but I think they belong there. 
I have stopped searching for parts of you to fill the blanks. Instead, I leave them empty, a great big space ready for me to grow into. I am trans. I belong. I am star. Thank you.